Nice little hybrid rocket engine. Um, so we're out in the jungle today uh, doing my rocket propulsion test for my extended essay. First of all, this is our setup. As you can see, we have a... Um, well, well, what is this? A basketball hoop. Basketball hoop, uh, some plastic is broken. Uh, we had a rat running around here. If you're editing this, uh, you, can, you can put that on. Okay, so this is the most overexpanded nozzle. And essentially what that means is that the exit pressure, pressure out here will be approximately 40 kilopascals, which is significantly smaller than the ambient air pressure. So essentially what you're expecting to see is that the exit exhaust is gonna look pinched in here. And that's because the exit pressure here is 40 kilopascals compared to the ambient air pressure, which is approximately 101 kilopascals. And because of that, uh, you will expect the thrust or the specific impulse to be much lower than a nozzle that was to produce, let's say, 100 kilopascals. Here are the other nozzles in comparison. So you can see how wide the exit radius is here compared to something a little bit smaller. You can sort of see the change in radius, how much smaller this is compared to that. And essentially, a larger exit radius means that the exit pressure will be much smaller than something like this. In here, you have a very thin gauge wire, a lot of resistance. You send a high current through, it'll heat up very rapidly. And that heating will actually then light this match, which is a pyrogen that will light the rest of the uh, engine. Okay, this is trial seven with the, in theory, theoretically, the um, perfectly expanded nozzle that goes directly proportionally. Yeah, well, Completely straight, it's 100 kilopascals, so it should have, in theory, the highest specific impulse. Let's see how that goes. 12 seconds later. <laughs> so what happened there, Peter? I accidentally closed the oxidizer valve instead of opening it. Wrong so way, instead right? Instead of throttling up, I turned the engine off. Ooh! So again, that's the oxidizer right there. Uh, just gaseous oxygen, so O2. You can see it's feeded. Turn there, that's the vernier, heated into the rocket engine. And since it's by propellant, you can see it right there. Okay, you can even see the, the engine steaming up. Yeah. We have Peter stuffing in some of our new of our new rocket fuel. Extremely energy dense. Yes. Some say it's denser than uranium, right? I think this is too much. <laughs> Sucrose propellant. Holes in the middle, so the oxidizer can go right in the center. It's perfect. Yes, it's Cos Costco, <laughs> Costco. Costco sponsored us, so. If you use our link in the description, you get 15% oh off God. the next coffee. <laughs> You're a sellout. A few moments later. 